Hello my dudes, welcome back to the vlog channel. Today we are here with more closet clean out slash now I'm just showing you what's in my closet because now we're getting in the good stuff, okay? Let me show you. This is where my most worn tops are. Now, maybe more than half of them are actually behind the camera because I'm gonna try them on today. Today is a very special day because I'm going to go through my entire turtleneck collection. I actually just learned this morning, thanks to Sheridan, that some of these things aren't technically turtlenecks and that has blown my mind. I don't even know how to deal with the mental repercussions of learning that information, but for now, I'm still going to call them turtlenecks. But in fact, these fall under the high neck family, so that includes turtlenecks with the traditional extra fabric that you fold over. Then there's the roll neck, and then there is number three, my personal favorite, the mock neck. Gives kind of a little higher neck look, a little cutie, I would say turtleneck action, but without the turtleneck. And so that's what I always thought. I was like, it's a mock neck because it's mocking. <laughs> it's not real turtleneck, it's mock neck. Best of both worlds. I just realized that Steve Jobs with the iconic turtleneck is technically wearing mock necks. Taste. <laughs> But again, this is why I don't I don't agree with the, the characterization. To me, a mock neck is a turtleneck. I will live and die by that. I almost just said, just as Steve Jobs did. I think he would agree. Okay, about 25 beautiful high necks stand before me. I'm procrastinating, let's dive in. Is this distract? I feel like this is distracting. I like the door, and this is where I hang some of my extra bags and hats, but it looks bad on camera right now so let's put it away much better focus on me and the next this is a babaton by aritzia short sleeve mock neck i'm sure you've seen it before i've worn it in many videos by the way the vast majority if not every single one of these items is thrifted or specifically from thread up not sponsored today but obviously i work with them a lot on my main channel thank you very much and so I've been lucky enough to be able to buy most of these secondhand, which makes me even happier about it because full price Aritzia, <laughs> it's a little much. But this very quickly became one of my favorite go-to everyday tops. It's the perfect length for me. Again, I think these are my favorite jeans right now. You've seen them in these videos. They're just so comfy and I like, I like the length, I like the width, I like the diameter. They're just all around comfy, you know, whatever. I like the, the, the length of this, sleeve, <laughs> me trying to put myself in fashion mode. I love what they've done with this armhole. But obviously the winner is the mock neck itself. So this is the kind of mock neck that I love because it gives you just that extra inch or so above the standard collar line and it's not at all tight. I do not feel like I'm choking. That's one thing. I, for someone who loves turtlenecks, am also very sensitive to clothing on my neck but most of these are good. I think I will find a few of them don't work for me. So we'll see. But yes, Babaton, a winner. And for those of you sneaks, you may notice a newly bag or two back there. They had to send two because I ordered a lot of big bulky things. So yes, I will finally have another newly review Lee at the end of the month. See ya. Sprawlette might not be the best choice, but oh well. Okay, this is another. Babaton short sleeve, I think the exact same style as the other one. And for the same reasons, length. I feel like the thickness is good. It's pretty light, but it's, it's thick enough to not be like entirely sheer. And obviously we know I love a yellow. The amount of times I've worn these together, black and yellow, just looking like a little bumblebee, looking like the fucking wiggles every time. And I will continue. Now, the dangerous thing about having shirts like this that I love is once I learn, okay, I like this brand and I like this cut of shirt, I want to go buy all of them. It's tempting. <laughs> Just absolutely ruin my hair every time. Not like it looks good. It's unstyled, we know. I think I'm growing out. Well, clearly I'm growing out my fucking roots. I think my roots are growing. Let me know. Yeah, I think I'm actually gonna grow out my natural color as much as I can. The longest I had it was obviously during COVID, so throughout 2020. And then I decided to bleach my hair at home by myself 
to get it back to blonde. And I feel so conflicted. I've been watching a lot of my older videos again recently, re-watching my Patreon ones before I repost them here. And I go through phases where I'm like, oh my God, I look so good with bangs. And then I get bangs and I hate them and I grow them back out, which is what I'm doing now. And then I go through phases where I'm like, oh my God, my hair looks so good when I have some of my natural color or it looks so good short or fucking bleached blonde. Well, I guess this is just typical. <laughs> Everyone goes through it, but it's annoying. So right now my hair is not great. It's obviously unstyled. It's a little overdue for a trim for sure. Could use some layers, but I'm just trying to get it back to be more low maintenance. I don't want to maintain myself at all. It's too much work. Okay. <laughs> So again, this is another Wilfred long sleeve. I love this one, it's so sporty. I like it, it's interesting. The little powdery blue color is really cute. Now, how do I feel about, okay, wait, again, the length, perfect. Just cropped enough, I don't wanna show any belly, but it just hits the perfect length for me, but the neck, okay, let's assess. Hmm, okay, it's a little too high, kind of. You know, it's fucking funny. This morning, I realized Emma Chamberlain just posted a whole video about black turtlenecks. I was like, hmm, what's this gonna be? Turned it on and she like is going through her black turtleneck collection and talking about which ones are her favorite and why. And I was like, how the fuck is it possible that I wanna film my turtleneck collection right when Emma Chamberlain posts hers? How embarrassing. People are gonna think I bought all these turtlenecks to copy her, you know? But she did mention at a certain length of a mock neck or turtleneck. I don't know what to call this. It just makes you look like a floating head and I don't like that. So this one, I think I actually typically roll it. So does that mean it's still a turtleneck because it's rolled according to that definition? But yeah, I feel like at this length, it's a better neck, but then it feels a little tight. Definitely gonna be overthinking it. <laughs> okay, let's fucking go. <laughs> Okay, this is, this is fun. I just get to experience the joy of my favorite shirts. This is the beginning of my Everlane pile, which I believe is my largest brand of turtlenecks. This is a recent addition from ThreadUp. I know it looks, <laughs> it probably doesn't look that impressive right now. It's gray, stay with me. I don't really wear, I don't wear a ton of gray. Usually, honestly, with this shade of gray, I'm always afraid of just sweating through it. Like if this were close, I would have pit stains in five seconds. Luckily though, this one's a little um, baggy. And the neck, the neck might even be actually like stretched out. I don't think it was made to be quite this loose, but honestly, I love it. I accept. Again, it's secondhand. I know when you're buying things secondhand, they're gonna have some wear and I'm good with that. Um, but anyway, it's a very basic cotton, very lightweight, not really the most interesting cut, but is it so incredibly comfy and have I worn it a lot of times since I got it already? Yes. Again, you do a little French tuck. It's easy for just, you know, fucking winter starting now. So I gotta wear my big ass puffer and this is a good shirt to go under it. That's comfy enough and it works. Okay. I love that I'm just turning my closet into even more of a disaster. Every time I finally clean my whole office and I put all my clothes away for once, cause usually they're piled up all over this couch, then I decide to do one of these videos and destroy the room again. So I'm gonna have to hang these all back up, but I just bought closet dividers. And so I wanna divide my closet into like short sleeve mock neck, long sleeve mock neck, and others. Cause I think that'll make it a little easier for me to keep things tidy. Anyway, this is Everlane as well. Now this, I'm sure you've also seen in my videos. This is one of my oldest, one of my eldest actually. This one I actually bought directly from Everlane. I believe it must've been 2019. And that's when I realized I really like the cuts of Everlane's tops though. Soon after that, they were revealed to be union busters. And it's just like, why does every company have to be evil? But anyway, I still like to buy Everlane stuff secondhand when I can find it, cause I like their pieces, but I'm like, can you just not, can you just not with the busting? Thank you. Anyway, I really like the cut of this shirt. I'm actually surprised I haven't bought another color of it. I like the loose shorty arms. Again, the length is pretty good. A little French tuck is all you need. The black color is definitely faded because I've worn it hundreds of times, but that brings me joy. And the neck is pretty much perfect. It's not like stretchy, it's just perfectly roomy, but it sits in a very comfortable way. And I love it, except learning that I'm a fucking, I need to chill. <sighs> I'm hungry, it's like lunchtime. Learning that I'm a summer season, it makes me sad because I like to wear this. I'm gonna continue wearing it, of course, but sometimes I'm like, oh, is it too high contrast for me? 
I'll live. <laughs> we all will, okay? And this. This is one of my most worn tops of all time. I got this on Thread Up as well years ago. And it is just a classic. It is such a go-to. It's like a little knit, semi-knit. Now, the sleeves, if I left them down, would be a weird length. But look, all you gotta do is pull them up a little bit and they're fine. And again, the length of the actual shirt, a little longer, a couple more inches. But again, now you see like my wardrobe is really the same thing 6,000 times over, which I feel like is a good strategy. I've been working on a video about personal style that I need to pick back up and finish. <laughs> But um, over the past few months, like realizing that I reach for the same kind of items, it's like, I don't think that's a problem. I think it's a good thing when you learn. For me, I fucking love a mock neck, <laughs> as we know. And I love this length. I love certain colors. I love stripes. Some people might think that that's boring or that I'm only wearing like basics, but it's like, it's about knowing what basics work for me because the way I think about my wardrobe is mainly functional. I'm trying to get back into wearing things that are a little bit more funky and fun just to spice up my life a little bit, but function and comfort are huge to me. Like some people are willing to wear things that are uncomfortable and like don't work very well because they like the way it looks. For me, I can't do that. I won't, I just won't wear it. And like, I don't like having things in my wardrobe that I don't reach for. So when I find things that just hit the spot for me, I get really excited. So yeah, this one's great. The neck is great. And it's one of my faves. I'm always reaching for it. And this is from my last thread up batch. I showed it off in my latest sponsored video. And as I mentioned, this one, Everlane, very thin, but fills a purpose because it's the lightest, thinnest turtleneck I have. I also don't have anything this color or pattern. Now the one thing is like, okay, this neck, very stretched out. So I've been folding it, which is not ideal because then it hides the pattern. So maybe I fold it in, it's not working. What I should do is just sew it in like this, but RIP to all my sewing projects that I talk about and never do. But anyway, yeah, this one's very light. It shows a lot more of like my bra or my skin <laughs> underneath. But again, I'm imagining it as a good base layer piece. As I'm struggling to breathe, I wanted to point out, I went to a workout class the other day in my neighborhood, finally checked out one of our local gyms. And I just want to do strength training. I just want to go lift some weights. I want to build up my muscle. I'm, I'm weak as usual. But um, this gym is a little bit more like CrossFit technically. And so I was like, mm, I'm a little scared. I also don't like classes because I like to work out at my own pace. And I don't like, oh, it's an hour long class because I might not be able to last an hour. I don't like being perceived while I'm working out, um, especially at this point where I'm so out of shape. I did like a morning class. I only had time to like have half a protein bar. So I didn't have a full breakfast. I didn't have my coffee. Um, but I rushed over there. And just after the warm up, I was like, oh, I felt a little faint. And I was like, mm, I don't know if this is low blood sugar. Also my heart rate skyrockets, absolutely skyrockets after the smallest bit of activity. So I was like, oh, the combination of low blood sugar and high heart rate is not fun for me right now. I gotta go take a break. And um, the gym staff were very nice and you know, cause I was new, they were obviously walking me through everything. And they're like, hey, we'll go at your pace. If you need less cardio, we'll do that. And I was like, okay, cool. But now I'm realizing just how often like in my everyday life doing like basic tasks, not even like walking upstairs, but like putting on a shirt and then I'm out of breath. And I'm like, what's wrong with me? The classic question. I'm like, well, first of all, I can't breathe through my nose. That might be part of it. I am extremely out of shape right now. I have anxiety and I think that just sets my uh, heart rate at a baseline fucking way too high. So anyway, <laughs> I wanna go back to the gym because I actually did enjoy the workout and I think it is possible to do it all at my own pace. But the physical feeling of like constantly having to take breaks because I felt like I was gonna pass out was not nice. So I need to make sure I'm better prepared, eat a solid breakfast, bring a lot of water. I'm also always dehydrated, so I'm not helping myself here. But then my legs were sore for like three days straight. I was such a baby about it. I was like, oh, I can't even crouch down to, to see Clark on my legs. Oh, I went to the gym. Nathan's like, okay, good job. Anyway, just always sighing, sighing, trying to breathe. Okay. 
<laughs> see ya. So this one, Everland, simple black actual turtleneck. So I would fold the neck down, but then folding it makes it ever so slightly tighter around the neck, which I don't love. So I am trying to see if any of these need to be donated. I like the feel of it. I like the shape of it. It's comfy. But yeah, the one thing I don't like is the neck. And is that distracting enough to ruin the whole thing for me? Potentially, yeah. I think it looks good, but it's, it's like, it's obviously not irreplaceable. It's a black turtleneck. It's been done before. Yeah, I can feel it right here. It's not nice. And that's the thing. Over the years, as I've collected all of these, I know which ones I will reach for because I know I can be comfy all day. And I know which ones I pass over because I'm like, nope, I'm not gonna like that in 30 minutes. And this one is feeling like a no, sadly. Again, it looks good, but I'm choking. And that's not fun. It's not worth it. All right, next up is my Madewell pile. And even just putting this on and seeing it in the mirror, I love this one. Obviously, I love the color. Now the neck. I think this one I typically fold down. This is another of the, actually all of these Madewell ones are from my latest thread up haul. So I, I really said I'm buying all turtlenecks. Here we go. But this one's nice because it's a little bit more of like a sweatshirt. It's cozy. I think this color just works on me. It just does. It just works. This one I showed in my video. Same thing, tall neck, roomy. Fold it down. Comfy, cozy, perfect. I mentioned that I really like, again, the length, perfect. Roomy, can bring up the arms if I want. And I really like the um, the stripes and the thread in this have like a little bit of sparkliness to them. So up close, it is even more interesting, I think. And this one's a goodie. Again, it's something I've just been reaching for when I'm like, I, I just want a shirt that's like, I wouldn't even say <laughs> that this is like elevated, but this is slightly more elevated for me Cause it's like, there's just a little bit of structure to the shape and I can put on cozy turtleneck without, without it being too much. I don't know what I'm saying there, but it just works. That's the theme of this video. It's funny cause you might look at like the pile of all the ones I've already tried on so far and be like, oh cool, like you're done, right? No, I clearly have so much more need of more styles and colors. Then we have another Madewell cutie brown striped sweater, good roomy cozy neck. We're seeing some repeating elements. Again, the length is good. I'm just so predictable, it's crazy. <laughs> this one has been a go-to. All I've been doing is switching between five turtlenecks and that's essentially what I like to do during fall through winter. It's a very easy way to get dressed. But yeah, I really like this one. I like the brown. I don't own a lot of browns, but I feel like I should get more brown in my wardrobe. Now again, speaking of color seasons and color analysis, I do feel like this brown is good on me. I don't know if it's in my palette, but I feel like again, this is like, especially with my hair right, like this right now, it just like, I'm about to say it works. Think of a new catchphrase, idiot. Samarsh. Cool. My dog Clark is laying here on the couch and he has a sock on his paw because a few days ago we took him to the vet. He was licking his paw nonstop and they found an ulcer in his paw, which is very painful obviously. So he's on antibiotics and he has a cone. I had to buy him a new cone because the plastic cone that we bought cracked because he runs into things. So I had to buy him a softer cone, but sometimes I give him a break from the cone, but I have to put a sock on his paw because he will go to town licking his paw and we cannot have that. We can't interrupt the healing process. This bra really shows everything. Tuck this one in, cool. So this, obviously full blown turtleneck. Do I usually fold it? It's okay, it's not too tight. On the discomfort turtleneck scale, it's about, it's worse when I talk. I'd say it's like a, a two. It's there, and if I pay attention, I'll be like, mm, that's annoying, but it's not unbearable. These two are from Reformation, thrifted, and obviously love the yellow, love a golden color. Luckily, as I'm going on, I'm like, what else can I say? There might be only a few things you can say about turtlenecks. The high neck family. This one, also secondhand Reformation. And as you can see by the sliver of midriff, it's a teeny bit more cropped than usual, but this is probably a top, top three of my turtleneck collection for sure. The mock neck is just flawless. It's nice, it's fitted. I like the, you know, half sleeve. And then the crop is probably my least favorite part. I would love if it were another inch or two long, then this would be the perfect shirt. I don't like the midriff. 
And this is one of my higher pairs of jeans, so I probably don't have any that would be able to cover the bottom of the shirt. I just think I look like a baby. I feel like I look like a toddler. You know when kids just have like a sliver of their cutie little baby belly sticking out? Like that's how I feel. It's not the look I'm going for most of the time, but I do like to wear this. Um, I wore it, I actually realized recently that like whenever I have an out occasion at night and I'm trying to like put on an outfit, this is the shirt I reach for every time. And then I'm like, mm, I've worn this every time. And I'm like, Hmm, I'll just wear it again. But anyway, it's a goodie. I wear it all the time. The only problem again with like black tops is that my blonde hair just gets stuck all over it. Not to mention lint and everything else. So you gotta accept it. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, so this is Uniqlo. Again, thread up. I have massively added to my turtleneck and my cardigan collection in the past two months. In a future video, I'll show my cardigan slash sweater collection. And I still need to do jackets and shoes eventually. But, um, oh no. Fuck. I ruined it. Okay, so first of all, this one's not perfect. I realized I ordered it and it was on final sale. So I have to keep it. But I will say, okay, starting at the top, neck. Good. Sometimes with these kind of knit turtlenecks, you get like the bunching of fabric. So like some of them are better at being smooth or like just full on chunky. But this one's like in that in between where like if I tucked this in, I would still have, if it was fully tucked, I would still have fabric bunching in a way that I don't love. So again, if I could have returned this, I would have, but I messed up. I have still worn this a few times though since though I think you can probably see, if you see like a little dark stain here, that's because I was eating pumpkin pie on the couch laying down. <laughs> Something happened and the plate flew at me and the pie went all over. Here's a picture, of course. As soon as it happened, I froze and Nathan was across from me and he's like, oh my God. And I was like, take a picture, <laughs> obviously. And then I took the sweater off and then I put it in my bathroom and I stupidly like didn't rinse it first thing. Cause I was like, oh, I gotta go get a replacement piece of pie. And I wanna continue watching what we're watching. But then I washed it and then I noticed when it came out that it is still stained in multiple spots now. And I'm like, I'm kind of mad that I <laughs> didn't realize it, but I'm also like, well, this isn't my favorite turtleneck anyway, but I'm like, I'm still upset that I ruined a shirt. It's not ruined, I can still wear it, but already I didn't like it that much to begin with. And now I stained it. How do you even begin to get out? Like what, is it just oil? Is that what this stain is? I should try, I'll try. Soiled it, soiled it. This is a Forever 21 little lettuce hem top. Got it secondhand as well. I'm not loving my pimple patch today, by the way, but classic, always having hormonal breakouts. Love that for me. But this shirt, I've gotta say, it's a hit. I love this color, this cutie like periwinkle sky blue sort of thing. I like a lettuce hem. I know some people don't, but I, I'm a fan. Perfect length. And again, it doesn't have that excess fabric bunching issue. So it lays pretty smooth and it's cute. The only problem I think I have with this one is sweat stains become very um, visible, but people sweat. What are you going to do? I can't let that ruin my life, okay? I have armpits. I have sweat glands. I just wanna be me. I'm noticing how cute this is paired with my purpley nail polish right now. Cute. This is a moth. No, this is a sweater. This one. Second hand, it really sounds redundant when I say it for pretty much every uh, item, but this one has these cool bell sleeves. It's a very like heavy material. I really like the neck. It's nice and roomy, very generous, <laughs> very generous. I like the stripes. It's interesting, but I feel like I've found that like, I haven't found the best way to wear it. It looks pretty cute though. I mean, that's the downside of it being structured is that like it's still a little bit structured here at the bottom where I would like it to be like relaxed or a little longer so I could fully tuck it in. I don't know. If I left it out like this though, I wouldn't love the length and like kind of how spacious and wide it is at the bottom. Hmm. But again, I like the color. I think it's on thin ice. It's hard because like these sorts of items, I'm like, oh, I should just try to wear it more to see if I like it. But it's like, I don't even want to reach for it. And that's really sad. It's so hard because some parts of it, I'm like, yeah, great sweater. And then some of it, I'm like, no. And that probably means it's a no. Would I miss it? Would I ever go, oh no, I wanted to wear that? No, not really. This is from Cliché. And this is, I believe, my first roll neck. 
out of the bunch. So this is what they mean where it has this little roll and it just stays rolled like that. This one's, I think it's sewn in at some points, but it's a roll neck. You learn something new every freaking day. So this one I've had for years as well. I've worn it in many main channel videos back in like 2018, 19-ish. And it's cute. I think this was called my um, Star Trek sweater. That's what people called it. And I was like, all right, I'll take it. I do like the neck, perfectly cozy. It's a good length. I like the colors. I don't really have anything else that is this color scheme. It definitely like looks very worn because I've worn it many times. It's got this kind of frizziness to it. But you know what? It's a good sweater. And in fact, I've been reminded that I like it. It's the tiniest bit, not even full blown itchy, but I think I would just want to wear like a little tank top underneath it. But this is a good one. Why haven't I worn this? Oh my God. I need to put it in a different spot in my closet. And finally we have my only current sleeveless turtleneck, mock neck, whatever you want to call this one. I bought this one at a thrift store in Seattle with Catherine and Sheridan. The brand is Dynamic and I love the color. Absolutely love. I also really like the fit. It's very comfy on the body. Tuck it in, baby. It's a smash hit. You can see my little farmer tan going on. I would probably wear this with um, something. I used to have a purpley maroon, almost um, terry cloth kind of, it was like a terry cloth, but almost like a velvet, a very weird material. That was in like high school and I really liked it. And I haven't owned one of these since until I saw my friend Madeline. She has a couple of cute sleeveless turtlenecks and every time she would wear them I'd be like fuck that's the perfect shirt so that's why I bought this one and I do really like the cut of it but the neck I've got to say the neck on camera it kind of looks a little too high but it's also choking me I would say actually this might have been new I think the store we were at the store I bought it from I think was one of those boutiques that was like mostly secondhand, but some new items. Cause I feel like this one was new actually, but <laughs> the neck is probably, I'd say like a five, a five on the discomfort scale, because as I'm speaking, I'm gagging, not for theatrics. Yikes. What the fuck is wrong with me? I'm a sensitive girly. Okay. Just crying. <laughs> um, but every time I put this on, I fucking love it otherwise. So I'm like, I'm always trying to like kind of stretch it and see like, can I break the fibers of this? Do you know, I could probably Google this, but is there a turtleneck stretching mechanism? Is there a turtleneck stretching tool? Because I would love if I could maybe just stretch this out and if it could just give me the teeniest bit more room, then I would love it and I would be able to wear this more often. But yeah, I feel like every time I put it on, I'm like, oh, cute. But then I'm like, nope, I feel like I'm gonna throw up. So gotta take it off. <laughs> I can't get over my fucking, my t-shirt tan. And this is a BP sweater. Every time I say that, I feel like it's like the oil company BP. And I'm like, oh, they're making clothes now? Huh. I think I've worn this one in a couple of videos. Love the shape of it. It's very comfy. It's very light. It's almost like buoyant feeling. Do you know what I mean? And yeah, I think the pink is cute on me. I love the neck. It's totally comfy, totally breathable. Yeah. Then I have this Velvet by Graham and Spencer. Now this, you'd think that this would not be a good shirt. You might not think this is a good shirt at all, actually. So first of all, starting with the neck, this one is weird. It's probably damaged. Yeah. I think this is supposed to be a fold, or no, a roll neck that's come undone a little bit. So like sometimes you can see the, the frayed inside. So when I wear it, I just have to make sure it's tucked in or sometimes I think I even tuck it again. But at that point, it's like not even a turtleneck anymore. Hello. Um, and then otherwise the shape of this, <laughs> it's like a three quarter sleeve and untucked or anything. It obviously looks pretty shapeless, not too great. But I will say I do wear this fairly often because it's just so fucking comfortable. Like all this room and all this, <laughs> all this is so comfy. So I do, I do wear it. And I feel like tucked in, it doesn't look that bad. You roll up the sleeves a little bit, you tuck it in a little and it's comfy. It definitely feels like um, a mom shirt. There are just certain, certain cuts of tops that seem like, yeah, a mother would wear this cause it's functional and it works. If that's what makes something a mom item, then my entire wardrobe is a mom. My entire wardrobe is mother. I think the gays would disagree. They'd say, please don't. <laughs> I don't think you know what you're saying. I know, I'm like, I just keep looking in the mirror. I'm like, 
it works. It works. And again, by the time you tuck it in, it's barely a high neck item, but I like it. I like the kind of like waffle knit of it. It definitely has a good amount of wear. There's like a couple little holes budding, but we'll just keep rocking it. Oh God, help. Okay, so this is the Zara Study Abroad turtleneck that I mentioned in like my first closet cleanup video, but I had to show it again. And as you can see, I literally cut the neck, which really doesn't look that bad unless you look up close, but you can probably tell. So again, I've had this for like almost six, seven years. Try to tuck the neck to make it look better. Is that okay? But yeah, that basically takes away all the turtleneck. That takes away the mock. And then this one's got a little lettuce hem. It kind of has that problem of too much fabric bunching here. It's not perfectly smooth. Be honest. How often do you reach for this? Almost never, I'd say. Maybe it's time to say goodbye. Maybe all of my plain full length black turtlenecks will be gone because they're just, I haven't found the perfect one yet. The flawless everything for me turtleneck. Then we have my free people turtleneck. I wore this in a couple videos, like early on in internet analysis when my channel was blowing up, um, I think in like 2019. I got so many comments. This was like the most requested item I've ever had where people are like, where's that from? Free people, but I first tried it in a newly, and then I don't remember if I bought it through newly or found it cheaper on like a Nordstrom website or something. It's definitely an interesting, fun top. I do love the neck. The neck is perfectly comfy. I like this color scheme. I love the like big balloon sleeves, the cutouts. It's like, this is classic fruit people, honestly, just like a little oversized, a little wavy, billowy. And it's a fun one. It can be hard to wear during like the winter winter. I guess you could wear it indoors, but um, it's obviously very breezy because the whole freaking shirt is open. So probably need to wear it with a tank top or something, but it's still a goodie. I should wear it more often. This is reminding me of all the good things in my wardrobe that I gotta bring back out. And last but not least, we have what is probably my favorite turtleneck or my most worn turtleneck, which is this green one from La Casa. I like to fold the neck down like this and then it's super comfy. I love the green and it is a little bit longer than I would typically go for, but look at this. It's watching me tuck in all my shirts. 30 times over. I might seem like I'm breaking some of my own rules cause like this one has a teeny bit of fabric that bunches, but it's not enough to be annoying. But I just find this like so perfectly comfortable. I've worn it so much. I believe I bought this one through Newly as well. So it's just a go-to. I wear this all the time. Probably this exact combination is like a weekly occurrence in my winter wardrobe. And I just love it. I just love it. So there you have it. That is my entire high neck collection. My turtlenecks, my roll necks, my mock necks. And I love them all. Not equally, definitely not, but I do love them all. <laughs> and next up, like I said, I ordered those closet dividers and I don't know if I'm gonna do that on camera, but I am gonna start organizing this soon as we continue going through things. And yeah, I'm excited. It's nice to remind yourself what is in your wardrobe and try things on, see how they currently fit you right now, see if they seem like something you actually wanna reach for, or are they the type of item where you like it on the hanger, but it just doesn't work in practice. Okay, I guess I'll hang all these fucking shirts back up again. I hope you guys enjoyed this and stay tuned for more closet clean out, newly review lease, Patreon re-releases, and whatever else I feel like posting this holiday season. Okay, thanks, bye.